The steamer Delta Queen is now preparing to depart Evansville, Indiana, for Louisville, Kentucky, and Cincinnati, Ohio. Gliding majestically over the great water highways of America, you'll discover the heritage of our country and the romance of a steamboat journey on the Delta Queen. No, I'm not doing a video on the Delta Queen riverboat. As beautiful as she is, I'm covering another Delta Queen today. And that is the scrapped character that was meant for Tugs. Now you're probably wondering why I'm covering a character that didn't even make it into the show. Well, I thought it would be an interesting topic for those who aren't that well versed in the Tugs lore to learn about. Since she's not as brought up in conversation as much as the Diesel Tug or Sugar Ray, who were also characters that didn't make it into the series, for what little info we do know about her, she is most definitely an interesting case to say the least. We have only one piece of concept art of her that was shown off to the public not that long ago, along with confirmation that her model had been in development, more on that later. Her name is derived from a steamboat ferry of the same name that had been in operation on the Mississippi River since 1927, which was also used as reference for the Fulton Ferry in the series. According to Paul Knight, one of the model makers for Tugs, Delta Queen was meant to be a paddle steamer that resided upriver, just like Billy Shoepack. However, plans for this changed when they had second thoughts on her design, which would later become OJ. Originally, OJ's model was meant to be for her until they decided that they wanted him to be a side paddle tug. Well, congrats on the transition, OJ! All jokes aside, I so wish that Delta Queen could have coexisted along OJ, because she would have become a welcome addition to the roster of female characters. We still wouldn't have that many, but we'd still have more representation than classic series Thomas ever did. Supposedly, she is described as an older tug just like OJ, which probably meant they would have shared similar characteristics. And had she been kept in, she most likely would have been voiced by Joanne Good, who had been responsible for voicing all of the female characters in the series. As stated previously, she would make four for the three female characters of the series, had she been kept in. And it's such a shame that they didn't, because even though four women is still very low for diversity standards, it still would have shown that they at least cared to represent somewhat for the female audience. But considering how little they did with the women they did have, with Lily having the most screen time out of all three of them, which still isn't saying much, she probably wouldn't have been given much to do either. But who's to say? No one really knows. At least until more info about her comes out. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe. Bye!